working on my beliefs led me to a lot more of that crazy stuff out there. And this is a series I have created based on me, my journey through healing, spirituality, craziness, weirdness, and ending up at creativity. <laughs> so in the last video, I was talking about how the manifestation led me down the belief path so that I could start working on my beliefs and my traumatic experiences and all those things I was holding on to and those things I was believing to be true. But what also happened when I started working through that was then we started to dive more into the whole spiritual world. It's like, <gasps> what? What is out there? And this is when people started talking about um, breathing techniques and being able to connect to other sources when they're asking source energy to come through when they're using this breathing. And then I started to hear all about our, our chakras and our more about these sort of energy systems and how we are these souls in these humans. And I was like, wait, what? what where what what what's all this new information like i'm not gonna lie i grew up with pretty conservative parents um who would laugh at i think the only type of spiritual type people we actually saw growing up was the Hare krishnas and my parents used to laugh at them and make fun of them so that was like the the only thing i knew about this whole other world and all these other topics and once I started hearing people talk about this in relation to this healing that we were doing and the removal of these beliefs and things, it's like, oh my God, I need to know all of this. What is all this new information? Give it to me now. Now, I did read the Celestine Prophecy probably 20 odd years ago, and I was going down that path of the Deepak Chopra and Louise Hay and Wayne Dyer type learnings a long, long time ago, but I, I lost my way and went on a whole nother path. So I still had the gist of, of more of that mindfulness and understanding the, the strength that we have in our own being and being who we are, etc, etc. But what I was hearing and what people were talking about was blowing my mind. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to become a spirituality expert now. Give me everything. Sign me up for everything. I need to know it all. And when you start going down this path, you will find, and this was like three years ago. So there was a plethora of coaches out there and people who were teaching this. There was, <laughs> you were literally spoiled for choice. And I started to go down signing up for everything and trying to learn so many things from so many people. And guess what happens when you start learning from coaches and listening to all the things they're teaching? Hmm, I can do that. Okay, watch the next video. We're going to talk about that.